Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is a video uh, answering some question that I uh, asked Judge JBT to give me some questions, and I got five questions, and I answered to one question just in the previous video that was about the photography, how I started photography, and uh, why, like where the passion to the photography come from. So in this video, I want to keep it doing. And today's question is, uh, how do you feel about living in a new country? This is quite a good question because, uh, yeah, now I'm living in the UK and I'm originally from Japan. I used to work in Tokyo. My living place was in Kanagawa Prefecture, which is uh, next to Tokyo. So basically, I was in the Kamakura City in Kanagawa Prefecture, and I uh, every day I went to my office in Tokyo, like kind of like one hour travel in a packed, packed train every day and going back. So in total, like more than two hours each day. Yeah, so I like my decision. I think the moving out from my country and moving in this country was one of the best decisions of my life. And actually, it was kind of like, uh, I don't know, just the biggest change in my life. Biggest change of my environment and that this changed my personality this changed how I interact with other people this changed how I see my country as well and more importantly I think I changed how I take care of myself so I want to talk about it in this video yeah so I understand that like I don't know like who watched this video like some people might know about me or some people have no ideas who I am I'm now uh, this year I'm turning 30 years old and I moved to this country when I was 27 years old that was uh, three years before I came to this country in 2021 uh, November 26 I think so pretty much uh, de December so next November it's going to be three years since I came over here and I can't believe that I've spent three years for so far because it's been so quick and so much happened and yeah just these three years is very very rich where i got so much different experience and i met like so many people i enjoyed it so much but at the same time there was some like difficulties and i was in a hard time at some point so i don't know where to start but i want to talk about pretty much everything that came to my mind so okay first of all i want to uh, talk about why i moved to this country i always mixed up the two different words company and country when i say when i want to say country like always company came to comes to my mind and always say compa country yeah this is kind of annoying because i know this happens like every time but i can't fix it so a bit of annoying but anyways so the reason I came to this country, uh, first of all, I had a big, big dream that I want to live in 
another countries where people speak English, yeah, English spoken country, because I have learned English for more than ten years, more than ten years since I was in a junior high school. So it's much more than ten years, but yeah, because in our school system we start learning English from junior high school, and we have some classes in a week. And we have a test in the school, and English is one of the、uh, subjects that you need to take to get in a university as well. So I studied, I learned English, the basic basic English, English, and、uh, with the grammars and words, vocabularies, and structures, and yeah. So basically. When we were in the school,、um, pretty much what we do is just reading, and sometimes listening and writing. So I study a lot. I memorize so many vocabularies, and I remember a lot of the grammatical rules. So I enjoyed it, and I. It felt like English was one of the best subject for me, so I could take some good score in a test, and I was able to keep my、uh, interest in it as well. So, yeah, I got in the university after graduating high school, and. Even though I learned a lot <coughs> of English until I got in the university, because the English was the、uh, subject I can get. Sorry, <coughs> <coughs> high school. So I study a lot, but I was a very very typical Japanese university student. It was very hard for me to get in a university, and my passion has burnt out. So I stopped studying, learning anything in the university. Of course, we have、uh, classes, we have tests, so I need to pass all the examination to get the degree. So I did it, but it was just like、uh, the the most basic things I did. So my score, my grades was. Not very good, and at the same time, I stopped learning English, which I kind of regret because, yeah, I don't know because that was my passion, but I stopped doing it. But still, I had some interest in、uh, English language. So after graduating from university, I joined a company. Uh, which is a movie production company, and it was so hectic and、uh, such a like hard、uh, working condition. We stay at the office such a long time, long hours because we had a tons of work that we need to do. But yeah, it was fun as well because I could see、uh, some celebrities. I'm not、uh, like. I I'm not the person who like fungo fungo fung fungoing. So I didn't have much care about celebrities, but just like seeing like famous people and we work with them for the TV commercials because I was making TV commercials. So it was a good memory, and I worked with football players, professional football players. So that was one of the best memories in the company. And yeah, so still, when I was、uh, working in Tokyo, I couldn't have much time to study and learn English. But I stopped working at the company because. I、uh, had a kind of like a mental illness. I worked too much, and 
I couldn't move my body. I couldn't keep myself because of like、uh, too much stress. And I took a break from work for five months. And then I got so much time that I can spend for myself. And I reminded myself of that I want to study English again. So, what I did was to go to、uh, Tokyo and join some meetup events. If you know about Meetup, Meetup is an app where you can find the events happening in like physical, physical places, like in a cafe, in a bar, in a pub, or anywhere. You can find like groups and events and you can join. Like sometimes you need to pay the joining fee, or sometimes you don't need to pay. So basically, I was looking for the meetups where people、uh, people doing like language exchange. So some foreign people live in Japan, or some foreign people coming to Japan for the travel, they want to、uh, like communicate or like interact. With Japanese people, so Japanese people are there as well. So we exchange our language like 20 minutes in English, 20 minutes in Japanese, and a loop, loop, loop. So we can learn our language from each other. And that was、uh, my like actual,、uh, like actual. Practice of speaking Jap-、uh, English and listening English, and that was quite fun because I find that like like having a communication with foreign people is such a nice thing. I never had like this kind of feeling because if I speak only Japanese, I can just speak with Japanese people because not many foreign people speak Japanese and. Yeah, I just feel like my world has expanded because of that. So, yeah, my motivation was boosted more and more. So, basically, I went to the meetup like every weekend and weekdays as well, as much as I can, because I was free. I didn't go to work. So, yeah, even though like I feel.、Uh, The, the fact I need to take a break from a company wasn't very good because I had、uh, such a big pain, big stress, but at the same time, there w a s like really good opportunities that I can practice my English and I can find my passion once again. So I decided to、uh, go to、uh, meet up one more, and after five months, I come back in the office and work, but I moved to the another department in the same company. So my work became like more like uh, uh, kind of peaceful, calm down, less stressful. I, yeah, I would say that. And coronavirus came and we couldn't go out. At the time I started photography, I started hiking. Yeah. And after the coronavirus, no, in the middle of the coronavirus, I had time to think about my life because I wasn't very happy when I was working in a company. And when I was、uh, staying in my family place in Japan, because I didn't feel like I'm living my life. I'm working five days in a week and two days on the weekend. I try to enjoy the time. But it felt like two days, just I try to run away or like flee from. The working environment, work like stress from the work. So I was so stressed on the sun on Sunday to think about I need to come back in the office on Monday. 
and yeah just it was so stressful and I didn't feel like I'm doing something I like yeah so then I started searching the chance that I can go somewhere outside Japan and because I didn't have visa of course we need a visa to work in other countries or like stay in other countries for a long period of time right so working holiday is uh, like a scheme that Japanese people have with other countries some of other countries Working holiday is now very very popular for younger young people. This visa is uh, valid for one year for the most of the countries like Australia, Canada, and this visa is issued for the people under thirty years old or like thirty one years old. So at the time I was twenty seven, so I was. Uh, thinking about getting a visa to Australia or Canada but because of the coronavirus th those countries are still uh, shut down of the border for foreign people so I couldn't apply it but UK was the first country where uh, I could apply the visa UK was very very quick because not because but I could see that like uh, in uh, London Premier League or like some sports event they started like restarted those kind of like uh, sports event where uh, many audience came into the stadium even though in Japan the restriction was very very strict for those who uh, get many people in the same place but UK restarted it as a first one of the first countries and they opened the border as well so I got a chance to get a visa to go to UK and uh, B British working holiday is a bit different from other countries working holiday visa uh, technically, uh, UK doesn't have working holiday with Japan, but we call it Youth Mobility Scheme. Pretty much the same as working holiday, but the good thing about UK working holiday is uh, we can have two years, uh, two years of stay, which is longer than the other countries. Like I said, most of the countries has only one year to give us the permission, right? And another thing is that we can work as a full-time worker. I heard that like for the most of the countries uh, for the working holiday visa, you can work, but you can't work as a uh, full-time job. So it was perfect because I wanted to stay longer in the country, in the new country, and I wanted to have a proper experience of working in the new country as well so i decided to uh, get the visa but the uk visa is something that i need to uh put myself in a how can i say like ballot like a lottery so there is a limited amount of uh spots for the visa it was like 1,500 visas so only 1,500 people uh, could get the visa in that year in a whole year so the the possibility is very very low to be honest so so many people can't make it but I was lucky enough to get it in the end so I was very very happy that I can see I can imagine my future in this country even though it was just two years but two years I could do a lot and I decided to uh, make the best out of it yeah so yeah that was the like 
the way I decided to move over to the UK. And yeah, I got the visa in July or August in 2021. And I told my boss that I want to quit my job. It was, yeah, right after. And I quit my job in November, the first, like, week, first week or second week of November. And after two weeks, I just flew to the UK. It was very quick. But, yeah, it was so busy. But I couldn't wait to fly over here and it was in the winter season because it was almost December I came here and I stayed at the hostel and I was looking for my room my flat and at the time I couldn't speak English very well I'm pretty sure that my English has got so much better after three years I believe I still feel like my language, my English isn't very good, uh, specifically my vocabularies and my pronunciation. And yeah, but if I compare myself right now and myself in three, uh, like three years ago, yeah, very different. So yeah, that's it and after coming here, I got my current flat and I'm staying here the same like three years, most, almost three years. And after spending some time uh, for three months, I started looking for my job and so lucky, I'm very lucky. I found a company where I still working right now. And yeah, this company is very, very nice, very good, such a nice environment. I've never had like big stress from the work. Sometimes, yeah, of course we are busy, but yeah, I just enjoy it and the people are so nice. I have so many good friends in the office. Yeah, and the good thing about my work is that I can go to the office by bicycle only taking 20 minutes yeah so just like my health is so good my mental health as well just just the fact that i can avoid taking a train taking a tube taking a bus it's really good i feel so much freedom right here Yes, so this is the like kind of process I took to move over to the UK and yeah, I like it. What I like about London, what I like about London is that the language is s simple, even though I'm still practicing English. Language is simple. We don't have like a lot of the polite words, polite way of saying. In Japan, we have a lot. So even though I speak to my manager, I speak to the elderly people, I don't change how I say things. Between when I talk to like elderly people and when I talk to kids, when I talk to my friends, almost everything the same way so it feels very easy because I don't need to take care of it and I can be myself I can say whatever I feel and it yeah and it feels like this like flat communication uh, makes our structure like communication or between individuals or structure very flat as well even in a, in a cafe or restaurant uh, we are in a flat we are in a flat uh, how can I say like relationship we respect the staff 
they respect the customer like friends, right? So we are just feeling like very comfortable, which is something I couldn't feel in my country because my country is extremely polite and there is a lot of kind of social pleasure that you need to be very polite and you can't be rude. And I always say that the Japanese language makes it more like strict and difficult because we change how I how we speak to people depending on who you talk to. So if the other people you're talking to is kind of like higher person, like higher position person, you need to use extremely polite language and that's the same for the like customer if you're working as a staff member you need to be very polite yeah i think it's beautiful i think it's really nice a lot of people like it as well but just like in terms of like freedom and like easy the fit the sense of easy going i am having this feeling right in London right now yeah and we have a lot of parks big parks even though I live in the central London there are a lot of parks and just fun just feeling good like walking outside and going to the park and yeah just like reading book or just like walking like looking at people uh, seeing dogs running around which feels really good so overall it makes my mental health much better yeah and i like summer in london it's not very hot compared to my country temperature wise london is hotter i believe but what i like about london summer is we don't have much humidity the level of humidity is so low it's dry so i actually don't feel it's very hot even though uh tokyo has uh lower temperature we have uh, so much humidity in the air and it gives me like more fear of heat like you're in the sauna even if you go under the shade go like in the like somewhere you can block your sunlight the humidity can bring the heat to you so <laughs> it was hor yeah horrible horrible but in london it, it's very dry if you get inside the building it, it like inside the shade under the shade just you can block the sunlight and you feel very cool yeah so I quite enjoy it, but at the same time, winter is horrible. Winter in London is horrible. It's too long, and I'm used to the like cold temperature of winter, which is okay because I like cold temperature as well. But the thing is, it's so dark, so dark in the morning, in the middle of winter. I think it's dark until 8 a.m so when you wake up it's still very dark when you go out for commuting it's still dark yeah it's crazy and the sunset in the winter is around four or even half three i don't remember half three to four yeah it's crazy um yeah, come on man it's too hard and then the winter in the UK is so long, starting from October. October is still autumn, but like, let's say November. Yeah, October is still autumn, but it feels like, yeah, I don't know, temperature-wise, it's not very cold, but already it's very dark. So starting in the middle of October to up, up until maybe april i would say it's still very cold and i remember like two years ago we had the snow snowfall 